Today's video is about toxic chemicals and canny disease. Thanks for watching. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor, still have my AV fistula, and have a transplant uh, coming up just to almost on 18 years. It's lasted 11 years longer than it was supposed to because of my obsession with kidney disease and keep myself from ever going to dialysis. So if you're new to our channel, subscribe where we have just over 200 videos of just stuff that you can do to improve your kidney health and your situation. So toxic chemicals. Now we have a lot of research, tons and tons of study on this topic about how toxic chemicals can cause or exacerbate kidney disease. And when we talk about toxic chemicals, there are so many out there. They're everywhere. And it's almost impossible to avoid. And if you live in a city, you're more exposed to these toxic chemicals. So I live in a city, I live outside New York City, and I'm gonna be exposed way more than someone who doesn't live as a, as a, a such a populated environment, so condensed. So you're gonna be exposed no matter what. Now the common exposures, and we're gonna talk about where you get them, where some of them are, and I'm gonna talk about what you can do to help yourself detox from these. If you want, you can get tested, checking for heavy metals, but just going through a list here. Common ones, benzene, fertilizers, pesticides, heavy metals like mercury, uh, aluminum, cadmium. Uh, now you get these all from breathing and um, ingestion, eating them, all right? So you either breathe chemicals in or you ingest them through food, water, drinks, these type of things. Uh, just some examples, tuna, very high in mercury. You can be toxic on tuna if you spent months and months eating it more than uh, two times a week, three, four times a week. It's possible that you could become toxic in mercury. Swordfish, okay, high in mercury. Okay, so I'm just showing you that toxic chemicals come everywhere. Uh, when you drink out of plastic bottles, there's different types of plastic bottles and some of them are really high in uh, hormone-like disruptors, weak estrogen-like properties that do a lot of havoc in the body. Uh, PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids that go rancid in different products. Uh, deodorant, deodorant has aluminum. Go check your deodorant, check the ingredients. Most likely it has aluminum in it unless you're purchasing a natural deodorant. Uh, barbecue, barbecue, when you barbecue, when you get it real black, unfortunately that's you know what I like, so I look to avoid that whenever I have barbecue, it becomes carcinogenic, bad for you, bad for your body. So a lot of bad things happen, glycation end products. So you're exposed to them everywhere. What can you do now? Okay, you can always get tested for your heavy metals. You can do that a variety of ways. You can ask your doctor to do it through blood. Uh, the Environmental Protection Agency does it through hair and nails. So if you're looking for like a hair test, you can just search a hair test online and see if you've been exposed to any of these heavy metals. And then if you have, you should look about uh, chelating them through safe supplements, diet. Um, you probably gonna have to work with a practitioner if you do, especially if you have kidney disease, so you wanna be on the safer side. So you could get tested, that's an option. What I recommend um, if testing is something you wanna do is that you wanna reduce your exposure. It's almost impossible to, to avoid all these toxic chemicals that are in our environment. But what you can do is, is avoid your exposure. So how do you do that? Okay, you eat it by, you do that first thing by getting clean water, all right? Water is super important for the kidney, super important for health. So clean water, H2O. Now with kidneys, you wanna drink your water. Now when it comes to clean water, um, it, it varies depending on where you are, what tap water quality you have. I recommend getting a filter. There's millions of type of filters on the market. I generally recommend the Pure or Brita or another type of activated carbon filter because they're really good. They take a lot of stuff out and they're affordable. You can get other types of filtration systems that are a lot more money, like reverse osmosis, um, distilled, but you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna increase your water bill quite a bit. So if that's in your budget, uh, for most people it's not. So instead you just get clean water. Now, when we're talking about drinking out of plastic bottles like this one, all right now I tend to drink out of a lot of plastic because I'm always going places and I'm always getting water. And for a long time I had a BPA free metal container. I ended up losing and getting another one. Um, so with kidney disease, you wanna just get that water in. Okay, get it in, get it in, get it in. If uh, you're looking to get our plastic bottles, you wanna try to get them with the less harmful plastics or one that have shown to not have a big impact. So how do you tell? You have to look generally at the bottom and you go by the recycling code. So 
it's from one to seven of the type of plastic they use in the recycling. So the good ones, just wanna make sure I give you the right ones, is one, two, four, and five. Those are the safe ones. So that means uh, three, six, and seven, you don't wanna drink out of those plastics. Uh, you don't wanna store foods in those. Uh, this is a four, okay? So I'm on the safer side there. And with that, got a little water. Now your diet, avoiding all the prepackaged, fast foods, the things that are traditionally known as unhealthy is gonna reduce that toxic load a lot. By eating high fiber foods, okay, all those good kidney friendly vegetables, that cabbage, that broccoli, um, any other types of good fiber from apples, from fruits, that fiber detoxes you. So as you eat healthier, you're in a natural state of detox all the time. Some other things you can do if you're looking to speed up your detoxification systems, uh, that's that clean water, good, clean, healthy food, whole foods. You can have a whole piece of garlic, okay? A whole raw garlic. You can chop it up in small pieces, put it on bread, eat it whole. That's gonna help speed up your detoxification systems while giving you a lot of good antioxidants. Uh, you can have a half, uh, half a fresh lemon squeezed in water first thing in the morning upon waking. Okay, the theory behind that is uh, lemon acts like a cellular scrub and it pulls sediments and everything out of your body. So that's another thing you can try. Uh, green teas are also great for, you know, on a continuous basis, taking them for detoxing coffee actually uh, helps the liver a bit to detox. So that's another pretty safe option for everybody out there with kidney disease. So when it comes to reducing your exposure to all these toxic chemicals, don't go like, don't really focus on it and really obsess and go to the extreme with it. Always focus on that good diet, less salt, less protein, if, if that's what you're striving for, more fruits, vegetables, and then look for those simple exposures like the cleaner water, whole foods, as far as organic foods, if you can afford it. That's what it comes down to. If it's not in your budget, don't worry about it. Just focus on that eating healthy because that's where majority of studies, actually like 99% of studies show uh, where the benefit is, okay? Uh, don't worry about spending that extra money for organic. It's not gonna, uh, uh, you're not gonna improve your kidney disease that much further by switching to organic food. And we don't have studies to even know that. Um, so a lot of people come to me with that. So uh, don't stress on that. All right, thanks for watching to your best kidney health. Look to reduce that toxin exposure. Check out all our videos, like, comment, visit our website, just lots of great information to help yourself. To your best kidney health, bye.